Hey guys, and welcome back to Tekka. Right, a little bit has changed. I've put the windmill slightly higher. It still isn't showing up anything on the little display that is producing much power, but it's a little better. There's some scaffolding up there as well, so I can climb it easily. And I've cleared this out, which is the most noticeable difference. And this is where I'm going to put my factory. Um, I want to quickly mark out kind of where it's going to be. I'm not sure how big to make it. But yeah, it doesn't really matter too much. I want to leave three get blocks gap there though. So I'll have one of the corners there. Oh no, because I want to leave three this side. So there just give me a little bit of a pathway to get through and how long shall I make it twenty one blocks that'll do and thirteen this way Lovely, okay. Yes, that should be big enough for now. I can always expand this later if I need to. Right, what I want to make this out of is stone bricks. So I'm going to have to cook some stuff up. But I have a slight problem there. I'm being eco-friendly. And all I can do with these iron furnaces is burn coal. But you can make an electric furnace. And there we are, and that's, oh, that's very easy, just two redstone and a circuit. So we'll get right on that. Iron, redstone, ah, I'm going to need more copper, and more resin. Ah, actually, I do need to plant some rubber trees again, because I took them completely away. them in there and what else did we need I think that's everything so we'll just wait for that to cook up okay we're back oops wires okay I no I got the iron and there we go one circuit so we just need two more redstone one of these furnaces. Iron furnace there. No, I think it was like this, actually. Oh god, what was it? Oh, it was like that. There we go, electric furnace. Now, I'll just pop it there for now. That will do. No, anything I put in there will slowly drain my power to cook stuff, and it cooks stuff a lot quicker as well. Now, some of these machines still aren't brilliant with speed. You can make an overclocker. However, I think that requires me to have an extractor for these coolant cells. Yes, it does. What's that like to build? Quite easy. Well, I might as well get on with that. Four of them. Oh yeah, these don't stack. These can be a bit of a pain. These can't be damaged either, I don't think. And I need some more iron dust as well. I'll take this out for now. And pop that in there. Right, I'm going to be getting some of the materials I need, and I'll be back in a bit. 
Okay, the extractor. Nice and easy. Machine block. Oh, and some copper, making a little bit extra again. To want one circuit. Machine block up there and tree taps. Extractor, brilliant. Now I think this machine is one of the ones you'll need the wrench to pick up. I'm not sure. I'm not going to test it out. Because I don't fancy losing it. Not that it was too difficult to make right with the extractor. We can pop this resin in here. And I think this will make free rubber for one sticky resin. It can take a little while, but it's not too bad. Now we're going to have to get a couple more redstone. And... Some tin. Now with the tin, you want to make... Some of these empty cells. You get 16 for 4 tin, so it's pretty good. Uh, I think you can fill these up just like buckets. Yes, you can. So we need three of them. We're going to pop these in the extractor. And those will give us coolant cells, which is one of the things we need for the overclocker. And I think the other things we need are circuit and, yeah, circuit and copper. more copper and uh, I don't think coolant cells stack either and another one of these in there but that's busy at the minute so we'll make the circuit ready the circuit coolant cells And once again, we're just waiting oh, for this thing. Okay, we are almost got enough. There we go, rubber. Now it says to put it in the middle, I'll put it there to be sure. One overclocker upgrade. Now you pop this in the corner there and it will speed up the process really. So I'll put the cobblestone in there, see how quick it's going now, and then it shoots a lot faster. It does however drain a lot more power. And as you can see it's daytime. I've got the water power of the wind and the solar panel and it's still draining it. Not as much now that this is off. In fact I think it's going it's trying to go back up, but it is going down just with one machine on. But that will help us quite a lot. Now I've got a lot of cobblestone in here from when I went mining before. So I'll let this all cook up and we'll see where we get to. Okay, whilst we wait on that, I'm going to optimise what I have at the minute a little bit. Now, this up here, this windmill, this can definitely go higher. I think they possibly, even at max, only produce one EU a tick. I'm not 100% sure, but I know the tin wires, the ultra-low current, will... Um, only lose energy every 40 blocks, so this could be 39 blocks high before I even lose anything from it. So I can definitely modify this a bit, and I've forgotten the wrench. Where is it? There. Now, this scaffolding, by the way, is just wood, hair, hair, and hair. 
then a stick there, and a stick in the bottom left, and the bottom right as well. It's bloody helpful, you get like 16 every time, so you get way more blocks for your money, and you can climb them like ladders too. It's actually a really cheap way to make ladders. Alright, I'll just wrench that off. Two, three, four. Now, can I actually put this windmill down this time? No. We'll just pop a block there. And there we go. I don't know if it's actually producing us anything. I can hear it. It's making the noise. Uh, is this fall going to kill me? No, I'll be fine. But it's still not showing up with anything. Oh god, I nearly killed myself. And what else do I need to do? Uh, I need to make a few more of these. I might put that a little higher up. But I need to change these slightly as well. Uh, as I said before, water mills work in a 3x3. Three three. And obviously they're touching these wires so they'll generate less power than they can. So I'm just going to alter this very slightly. Ooh. Oh, I don't want to drown though. I think that's fine. And one, two, three. Three. There we go. Again, come up for air. I'm pretty sure... Yes, I think that's fine. Eh? It might be a little bit too close to the f blocks here, but I can get rid of them. I'm also going to extend outwards. Let's see if I can just get rid of these. solar panel except for not block it. So hopefully if I come back in here. Oh god. The saw keeping up with it. Whoa. That was very quick. Okay, we're getting somewhere as well. I'll turn some of this. into bricks and we'll start laying the foundations for this place as you can see I've had a slight problem the power isn't exactly doing well now I'm gonna put Chuckle. I'm going to chuck a couple wood in there and give it a little bit of a boost and go to sleep and hopefully it'll have enough to sort of keep running. Also, I've drastically underestimated. Ah, oh, actually that was done. I'll just take that out for a little bit. Oh no, I think it's still not building up. Nope, it's not. Well, fair enough. You can go back in there. I drastically underestimated just how many blocks it would take. And yeah, that was about 100 blocks. So I'm going to have to make a lot more, especially for building it upwards. 
I'm definitely going to have to go mining again as well. I think I'm going to call it there for today though. Um, next time I might have a little look into equivalent exchange. Now I know it's a bit cheaty. It's a very, very easy way to play the game and not really do anything. I find myself just sitting around waiting by the energy collectors. Oh, is that a volcano? Damn it, I didn't realise there's basalt so close. Okay, I might make that out of basalt then. I'll keep the floor though. And yeah, um, all I'm going to use equivalent exchange for is possibly the Swindles Rind and Gale, which is a ring that lets you fly like you're in creative mode. Other than that, um, possibly building materials that are difficult to get hold of, because like obsidian is going to take you forever to mine lots of obsidian. So building a house out of it, or building a wall, or possibly a nuke chamber, something like that. Not that I'm going to be dabbling with nuclear reactors. Uh, it's just going to require so much time and effort, you might as well just use equivalent exchange. I mean, it's in the mod, so it's not really cheating, but I find it a bit cheaty. Plus, I want to try and keep this as realistic as possible. And, realistically, if you're going to set up a big eco plant, you'd, you'd have materials shipped in, but I can't do that, so... I think that's what I'll use it for. It definitely won't be spawning in lots of iron and stuff and valuables that I need. Um, that's about it. I might sort some of this out as well. Definitely need another bat box and some more solar panels. But until then guys, I'll see you next time. Bye!